the two medium sized onion, right? Yes, I saute them in butter and low heat until they're soft and done. You don't brown them. And then I drain the butter, I drain it, and I use that butter when I boil pierogies for people to eat. I, I douse this butter. It takes a longer time to drain ex excess butter, right? Yeah. So here's the potatoes. 10 pounds of potatoes. Boiling potatoes, 10 pounds, right? Yes. Then I get 10 cups of water for the dough. This water cooled down, right? Well, yeah, I, I'm not doing the dough. So, 10 cup of boiled water with potato for dough. So, we're draining the excess water, right? Yeah. The potato, now you're going to add the other ingredients, right? Yeah, but I want to tell you how much. You know, this big slab of kogi cheese. Here I have, you know, a big, a large slab of kogi cheese, a third slab of kogi cheese, a third slab of uh, Velveeta cheese. Gotta melt. Hot cheese whiz, half a jar. Boil the water uh, or potato without salt or you add any salt? Yes, yes. When I boil them, that's when I add the salt. Okay, how much you add roughly? Uh, probably to, to, to 10 pounds of potatoes, probably a quarter cup. In pot. Nature seasoning to taste. So that's all or are you adding any, any more ingredient or this is... Sorry? Is, it, is there any more ingredient or this? I'm going to put a little bit more nature seasoning. Okay. I don't measure it. I just... And I don't want to overdo it either, eh? So just... Yeah. And I cover it up. And I put it on top of the warm burner here for about five minutes before I get my potato masher. So you mash well. 
Yeah, you gotta get, get uh, mixed everything. Nice yeah, yeah right. it's gotta be mixed very, yeah. You gotta dig, dig, dig it from the sides, eh? So, and then you gotta mash some more. See, look. See, look at. Always oh, look very nice. Getting better. This is uh, 10 pounds of potatoes. I, I already said how much, eh, no? Yeah, and three, ty three types of cheese and uh, nature seasoning. You can't buy this in Canada yet. It's, you gotta get it in the US. I have many friends that bring me lots, so I'm... Yes, only you, uh, you treat them too. You provide pogi, buns, uh, bread, <laughs> all kind of things for the people. Well, yeah, they're great. Yeah, they. You know, you want me to show you what I do the next? Oh no. Yeah. So this is the, uh, the stuff, uh, stuff inside to put for put inside the pogi, right? Yes, it's got and it's going to cool. What I do is I put it in this. When they cool off in about two hours, then I cover them up so they don't crust, stay. Eh? Till, till morning, and, and they'll sit in a cool place. So you are transferring from the hot pan to just uh, another pot, right? Yes, yeah. In a couple hours, I'll cover it, eh? I'll cover it, and then in the morning, uh, it's ready to go. Okay, and cheese filling. And ready, it's cooled down, ready to use it. It's a bacon, right? Sour cream. Oh, yes. That was half a cup of bacon. Has sour cream. This is 14 or 500. How much is this? Two cups or one? It's two cups. 500 millimeters. A little over two cups. Two, a cup is 140. 240. So this the water from the 10 cups of uh, potato potato water yeah potato water yeah so this is a liquid mixture for making dough right yes yeah And now we beat the hell out of it. So we're beating that. Eighteen cups of flour and two cups of Idaho potato flakes. And before I put these on, This won't take long, would you? So you're gently mixing, right? Before you yeah, so start. I don't splash all over the place, you know? Yeah. Until I get it uh, all... Uh, So you need to just uh, okay. 
perfect measurement. Hmm? Perfect measurement. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> you, know so, you know, Jude, sometimes it works so perfect, and sometimes you gotta add a little more. I try to be very careful when I measure that I make sure that the cups are level, eh? Yeah, that's it's, a lot. But sometimes it, it So how long do you need this one? Just when uh, when the texture is, I, you, I don't work it, you, it's no good to overwork it, eh? Yeah. But you gotta make sure that it's mixed well. For five minutes or ten minutes? Uh, for the pierogi? Yeah. Uh, probably about ten, ten, fifteen. See, you gotta get the, the flowers always. Yeah, you need to make sure that. So the dog is almost ready. Hmm? The dough is almost ready, or? Uh, yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah. Just a few more, and then, and then I cover it, uh, and I and I let it rest for for a while. Yeah, it's, this this dough no need the uh, long resting time, right? It's about. Well, probably about an hour. Oh, okay. Yeah, I cover it up, and but you know, I I don't know. I just you know. So we're covering it this time. If you have excess dough, you can freeze it and you reuse yeah, later. Yeah, right? yeah, I don't. Throw, I, you know, I hate to throw things out, eh? Okay? So I freeze it in, in the plastic bag, and then it, it, you know. There, there's many times that I don't have anything left over, eh? But see, I made sauerkraut with this, eh? Show me. Do you want to? You want to see? It's, yeah. it's going to take a little minute, a couple of minutes for me to roll it, but it's, it won't it's take. Okay. It's all right. It won't take long. See, I don't know why this dip dish. It's almost ready to cut. So, one, two. You know, just I'll do a couple more yet and then. Yeah, because you don't need that much, eh? No, no, I just roll this. Uh, so, a couple of them. Yeah, okay, I'll do another roll and then I'll... Okay, I'll get it. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So, you put about a tablespoon or a teaspoon? A, a full teaspoon. So it's a white tray. Is this cheese cloth or just a regular cloth, white cloth? 
Huh? It's a cheesecloth or regular white cloth? No, it's an ordinary white cloth, yeah. So what do you do after you make? I put them in a the, in the freezer. Okay. They freeze and then I, for about, it takes about three hours, eh? And then I bag them. Okay. So you cook uh, freshly also? Or? Hmm? You need to freeze before you cook or you can cook fresh also, eh? Oh, you know, yeah. I also cook for I'll cook some fresh today. So what do you do? Boiled? Yeah. Uh, but, but, like uh, when you, when you, later on when you come after uh, you can let me. Okay. Yeah, so my friend Oli. So today she made prohi. So I'll show the instruction. Follow suit. I don't put too many, and I, I'll probably put 40 in this pot. So gently stirring, right? Yeah, yeah, and then I'll leave them for a while until they come to the top. Okay. And then they'll uh, simmer for about five minutes, and then I dump them in there. Well, it's loading now, right? Yeah. So you may be ready to take out, though? Not Couple, couple more minutes. That's for Vicky and Vicky's mom. Oh, okay. So do, they, do, do, do they like them though? Yeah. Because they, they're bland, uh, Judy. They eat with the hot sauce, right? Okay. No. No, I'm turning it in high because when I take it out, I'll put the rest of them in it. Shake them right. Yeah. So mix them nicely. Anyway, I let it go. So cook progi is ready to eat. And uh, you, you eat with the sour cream. So I'm gonna add a little more sour cream. Thank you, Oli. It is a wonderful experience. So I'm going to taste your progi. Okay. So I'm going to taste the progi. sour cream I like more eat sour cream but I'm going to eat a little bit with that. so this looks nice and look everything cooked nicely let's try that one. 